Hello everybody and welcome to Dreamfall Chapters. This is an episodic um, adventure, I suppose it can be called, from the same people that made the longest journey in Dreamfall a long time ago. Longest Journey was a game I played when I was very small. Very small. Like, it's one of the earliest games I can recall ever actually playing. And uh, this is currently ongoing. I believe chapters one and two are currently out, and three, four, and five will be released whenever they're done. And I, I love these types of games. Uh, I'm a big fan of these types of games. And I thought we would give this one a go. And this will be a new, like, evening LP. It'll be nice and relaxed, and we'll just enjoy the story and see what there is to do. Just, I'm just gonna ignore that. Um, game, yeah. Look, it's a floppy disk. Who remembers floppy disks? I do. Never actually really used them, um, because by the time I needed anything, like, storage like that, flash drives were a thing. Red thread. Ooh. There are two worlds. Okay. Our world, the world of science, and Arcadia, the world of magic. Liking it already. Dreams connect these parallel worlds. Really? But a dark force threatens the very fabric of dreams. No. Zoe Castillo holds the power to shape dreams and save us from the undreaming. <laughs> she is trapped in a place called the story time. Yes, the undreaming, the also known as being awake. To play an important role in the war to come. Okay. But he faces execution for treason against his own people. Oh. That's they not are good. both about to be reborn. Ah. A new story is about to begin. Okay. Their paths will intersect, right. and at the end of their journey, they will face the Thief of Dreams. The Dream Thief. I like the music. That was very quick, didn't it? Here's the character, here's what they can do. Here's the other character, here's what they can do. They're gonna do some awesome fucking shit. Go. Boom, exposition, that's all you need. That's all you needed. Dreamfall chapters. Game, there you go, come on. Come on, you're awake. Keep it moving. There you go, good job. I knew you could do it. The very white screen. Am I waking up? Am I falling asleep? Am I making sushi? I am, oh. Oh. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say we're in the world of magic. She looks like a modern art masterpiece. On it, straight up, I've been to museums and seen art where it's shit hanging off of tree branches. Ah, child singing. Oh, it's clearly a funeral. Now, is the tree branches growing out of her back or part of the costume? This is gorgeous. Oh man. Look at this. This is great. Somebody's died. Oh, you're cool. Your name's gonna be like Carvok or something neat like that. Oh, you're missing an eye too. Okay. They're both missing their left eye. She's not. Wow. I be cat person. Aw, oh, she died. Aw, oh, everybody's sad. Give her a good old fashioned Viking funeral. If her eyes open as she burns, that's gonna be pretty dark. And? Nah, she looks pretty dead. She, they're all very well animated, though. I'm pretty sure this was a Kickstarter project, so marvel at how good this is. Marvel at it! It's a very good looking game. Okay, so the flaming boat is now moving on its own somehow. Don't even question it, I guess. Because it was completely stationary before, and now it's somehow has the ability to move. Magic, I suppose. Magical, I suppose. Oh, they're all real sad that somebody's dead. Whoever that is, I, d I don't know. Well done. That's a good intro. The candle go out. Up. Oh. Looks like a greaser from the 1950s. 
with shitty duck shoes. I'm gonna go on a limb and say they're having sex. Or she's taking a sh Oh, she's giving birth, that's what it is. <laughs> it was, it was, it had to be one of those three. Having sex, giving birth, or taking a shit. It's the only thing that can create noises like that. Man, I'm so sick of wormholes opening in front of my fireplace. Just trying to cook a hot pocket. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? I'm all for games completely not making any sense right out of the... Okay. Let's just... Let's, I'm just gonna sit here and drink tea as it loads. So we can all try to figure out what we just saw. Chapter 1. Adrift. In a sea of puppy dogs. That's a good, that's a good chapter they say name. say that every story has a beginning and an end. You know, if you're gonna have white text, don't put it on a white background, you fucking idiots! Some stories simply... What? Stop. Ha! <sighs> hey, she looks a lot like the person My that burned! My name burnt. is Zoe Castillo. I'm dying. <laughs> I've been in a coma for over a year. Huh. The doctors don't believe I'll ever wake up again. Boy, when you said world of science, you really meant world of science. My mother did this to me. Your mother put, put you in a coma? So that I wouldn't what a bitch. Be able to tell my story. Ah. So that she could keep her secrets. Ah, so your mom's evil. It worked. Eh, comas will do that. The world is addicted to dreams. Ah. To dream time. Oh man, I, this is one of my favorite sci-fi things to ever- Oh! I love the idea of using, like, dream unconscious dream machines for entertainment. Oh, I love it. I'm they really into this. They someone is stealing their dreams. Using them to reshape reality. Okay. So, if I'm in a coma, how am I talking to you? I don't know, but I hear an acoustic guitar the building. Is, my body may be here in a hospital. But your mind is in the dreamscape. That's a creepy fucking gorilla. My mind is elsewhere. Oh, this is so cool! This is the story time. Okay. It's the place between. Okay. And it's my home now. Oh man. This place where all stories begin and end. Oh. Including man. mine. Sorry, this is blowing me away. Oh, that's cool. So in her mind, she sees herself in the coma. So she knows this isn't real. And oh man. That's dire. This is really fucking cool. I'm loving this. Because I've read books like this. I've read many books about the same subject matter of like... The, the future of entertainment and it's, you know, you're plugged into a machine and your mind can make anything happen. And it's just story time. Oh, oh man. A on items to hear Zoe's inner thoughts and explore more about her. Please explain Wonkers the gorilla. Wonkers, my old Wattilla. No, that's a, that's a gorilla, but whatever. Wonkers, all right. That was taken when Reza and I were still dating. Aww. Feels like a different lifetime. And, well, sort of was. Eh. People keep bringing flowers. So... funereal. Funereal. Oh my god, I love that word! That's the first time I've ever heard that word, and I love Sleeping it. Sleeping beauty. Coma as a fashion statement? No, oh, that's awful. <laughs> but I honestly do look better on my deathbed. You're not dead, though. You're just in a coma. Oh, wow. Is that accurate? I don't know if the chart is accurate or just a dream construct. Fuck! But it doesn't look good. Oh! That line should be pointing... Oh! Oh, the game's in my mind! The game is in my mind! Holy shit. Incredible. Alright. Oh, my God. Dad, Gabrielle, stops by every day. He keeps apologizing. I wish he wouldn't. So according to this game, when you're in a coma, you hear what's around you. Otherwise, she wouldn't know that. That machine is all that stands between me and six feet under. It feeds my comatose body a fun cocktail of life-saving narcotics. 
Huh. Man. I want somebody... I bet somebody already has, but I want to read like the... I don't know. I'm like a psychologist. Just kind of look at this and wonder. Like, there's so much going on here. I, I am not equipped to think about what all of this means at the moment, but I will... Ah, oh, this is going to keep me wondering for a long time. Trapped Dreamer? So they're... They're story missions. Story time. Story time. I don't know how long I've been here. Six months? Nine? So this? Trapped Dreamer. Look at? I hear her calling out for help. She's trapped in a looping night terror. Oh, jeez. Should I help her? Can I help her? What gives you the power to help others within the dream world? Okay. Okay. Hold X to track interesting objects. Oh, she's falling. Help me! She's falling, falling dreamer. Is she gonna fall again or what? Uh, yep, she's gonna fall again. How do I catch her? No. How, can I catch her? I'm, I'm tracking her. I see. Me. Oh, wait, I actually think, I actually think I can. I just need a, I just need to uh, wait for the prompt. All right, so we track, 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 track. Yes, yes, yes. So do I mash A or what? Oh, no. oh, you tried. I can't grab her, she's falling too quickly. Shit. So what do I do? Is there anything else I can interact with? Hold X to track interesting objects. Ah, God. Mind, light, time, time. Oh no, grab. Damn it! I pressed the wrong button. Why do you have mystical powers? Well, dream world, so I suppose. It's not that, not that uh, uncommon, but this game needs to explain a lot of things, but I am so okay. Ah, damn it! Ugh, this is tough. I'm okay with it not. Like, this game can get away with just having things be a thing, and I am fine with it. If this was any other game, I'd be like, no, but this isn't God. that. So, all right, now actually grab her. This time. There you go. Oh God, don't let go. How you doing? Come on. Well, that would be a shit-ass dream, just falling over and over again. Me. Feels like I've been falling forever. You know, I believe it. What is this place? It's the dream world. A bad dream. I'm here to help you wake up. Okay. Okay, it's just a dream. It's just a Usually, dream. once you realize it's a dream, you wake up instantly. Was, At least that's been my experience. This feels so real. Yeah. In a few moments, it won't. You'll forget all about it. But I want you to remember one thing. But she won't, because she'll Stop forget it. Stop using that thing. The dream machine. Stop using it or you'll be back and maybe I won't find you next time and maybe you'll be stuck in a nightmare forever. That's oh, horrible. No. no, I promise I'll remember. No, you won't. Do something else with your spare time. Go shopping. Have lots of sex. Take more naps. Anything but this. Yeah, that, those all seem like awesome alternatives. Thank you. Again. Who are you? Don't Doesn't remember. Matter. You won't remember anyway. If she won't Just remember who you are remember. and what she's doing... How will she remember not to come back? That train of logic doesn't hold up. Oh, that's cool. She's logging out of the game. Awesome. But again, that doesn't hold up. So, whatever. Uh, and I assume she can't go out because coma. So, oh, darkness imprisoning me. All that I see, absolute horror. How can I live? How can I die? That dream is just... Total blackness. The absence of light. Thank you for explaining what blackness is. Now let's go over there. Get in the black dream. Oh. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say suicide? Suicidal thoughts? Maybe? I don't know. What causes absolute blackness in dreams? He's on a chair in a tunnel. It's dark. It's too dark. I can't. So he's just scared. I can't move. I, no. Don't. Don't come any closer. Who are you? What the darkness? It's everywhere. Yeah. 
It's getting closer. Oh, Wait a minute. I can't see anything. I can't leave. It's not safe out there. Okay. Come with me. I'll help you escape. What? Who? Who, who are you? Doesn't matter. You're dreaming. I'll help you get back. Follow me. Oh, good. An escort mission. Come along. It's dark. It's too dark. I can't... I can't move. I can't go anywhere. It's too dark. Just oh, way too dark. That's fine. So he can't go beyond the light. Is that what you're telling me? The darkness. It's getting closer. It's getting closer. So what do you want me to do? Is there a way to turn on the lights? Oh, maybe. Lamp. Light. Dreaming. No. That can't. That can't be. This, this is too real. Now you're dreaming. Too real. It's a dream. That's because you're connected to a dream machine. Yep. If you remember nothing else when you wake up, remember this. The dream machines are dangerous. Don't use them, or you'll get stuck here, and maybe I won't find you again. Don't say that. Don't say that. I'll remember. I swear. No, wait. I don't but whatever. Ever want to come back. I won't touch a dream machine again. Good. See, this this is exactly the argument with that devices won't like last this. Cuz it's the dark is everywhere. Yeah, 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 I know what to do. I just... have to go back. Back to the light. All right. So, let me let me just do this while I explain to you why so we slow down the time. And then turn on the light. No. Wait, hold on. I think I'd turn on the light. And then slow down time. So now it lasts longer. Anyway, so yeah, when you have devices like this, this dream machine, and people are addicted to using it, the biggest argument is like Stay close to me, how it's you'll be fine. how it's such a big problem. I hate the dark. I can't stand because it's the perfect escape, you right? You, you get plugged into a machine strong. that'll feed you your conscious mind can go anywhere and do anything you've ever wanted. Just stay close. What is the, what is the, like, just promise me why wouldn't you do that, right? Why wouldn't you just plug yourself in and live out the rest of your life being the happiest you could ever be? It's just, like, the argument against that and the people, like, no, you can't use it. It's wrong. You, you, like, you need to live your life and People are like, my life sucks. This is better than my life. Why wouldn't I use the machine? And so it's coming up with reasons not to use the machine and why the machine is bad. And it's it's a great fucking sci-fi thing that I always loved. Oh, the lights are growing out. Uh-oh. I'm drowning in it. The darkness is swallowing me up. It's him. The source of the darkness. He's feeding it. His fear is totally out of control. Ah. He's fighting me and he doesn't even know it. He needs to stop or I can't help him. All right, well then talk to him or something. Hey, buddy. It's happening again. How you doing? It's happening. This is what happens when you use evil dream machines. You that being said, fears control you. I'd probably use one of them, I but the I would know well enough to stop. I can't stand it. I know, and you're feeding it. You need to let it go. Your fears and worries. See, now the way you prevent people you from using the these machines is you make them darkness, really expensive remember? and you make them the only able to you? last like half an hour. That's right. The dark makes me forget. It will so imprison just you. Let it go. I... Brighten up. <laughs> Shine for me, you crazy diamond. Yeah, Pink Floyd reference. I don't. I don't know how to turn it on. You stop being scared. You're not alone. I'm here to help you. Thanks, Laura Croft. Thank you. It's the exact same British accent that Laura Croft fucking uses. Laura Croft. Oh, you okay? You alright? You okay there, sexy? Um, mind? It's him. The oh, source shit. of the darkness. Ah, uh, damn it. He's feeding it. His fear is totally out of control. He's fighting me and he doesn't even uh -huh. know it. He needs to stop, or I can't help him. Okay, so do I make him light? Yep, that's what I do. This is why tunnels are. Also, I kind of, I'm gonna be a bit of a bastard when I say this, but tunnels See? don't have lampposts that look time like that. You carried the light within. 
they, There's they, nothing to they be don't. afraid of anymore. Thank you. Look at that light. It's bright. Go walk into it. Walk in the light. No? You done? What's that? Select a destination for the man. There. Walk into the light. Do it. Walk into the Do Don't it. Worry. Not that kind of light. You'll just wake up. There you go. And he's dead. Thank you. I can't see you, but you're welcome. Right now I can't see you. What is going on out there? It's getting worse. It is. It's getting really bad. Now how do we get out? Oh, we just walk forward. That's how we get out. Uh, LT, there we go. I'm gonna go on a limb and say the next one we need to go is there. Look at it. What is that? A bedroom. A bedroom. I know what that means. I'm actually really scared about what that could mean. Oh. Monsters in the closet? Oh, that's horrible. What are you doing? Get away from there! Monsters in the closet. That's exactly what that means. That's a pretty horrifying monster. That's one disturbed wardrobe. I'm glad this is not my dream. I'd be absolutely terrified. You mean like this poor this poor person? How's it going? It looks like you got some horrifying thing in your wardrobe. Don't make a sound. It will hear you. You're talking. Who? The monster in the closet. It will hear you and eat us both. Reassure her, scare her. She's already her. scared, but she needs to understand how dangerous the... She's scared enough already, but... Oh. I need to be careful. She needs reassurance, not more things to be scared of. Reassure her. I promise it won't hurt you. The child will not I forget. Swear. I swear. I won't let it. But you need to get back home. I can't find my way. Just wake the up. The way back is through there. Through the wardrobe. I can't go in there. It will eat me alive. Now you're fine. Not if we destroy it first. Do you have the key? I don't know where it is. My mum locks it every night and tells me to behave. Or should oh. I lock it and let the monster have me? Oh, that's horrible. Great parenting. Yeah, no kidding. Don't worry. I'll find the key. And whatever's in there, it's no match for me. I promise. Also, why would a child this age be plugged into the dream machine? Something like that. What do you think of my costume? It's really cool. Thank you. I've got elbow pads. Okay, so we need to find the key. That is horrible painting. Oh, cool, look at that. You guys see it? It's like weirdly 3D. I wonder if that's like a layering issue or if it's actually supposed to do that. I don't care. Either way, that's red. Um, look at. It had to be tentacles. Yes. It couldn't be, I don't know, a dream about a wardrobe filled with Bananas. Nope, tentacles. Mind. Not peeking inside that thing's head. I've made that mistake in the past, never again. Light? Light could work, but I don't think there's anything to draw on there. That thing is darkness through and through. It would need to come from somewhere else. Where's the key? It would need to come from somewhere else. Is there anything else I can interact with? The light bulb, aha. Yeah. Why bother with lampshades when a creepy bear bulb can suffice? Light. Oh, that light's too weak to have an effect on Mr. Great Old One. Shit. Time. This bedroom was designed to be as creepy as possible. Spooky by Ikea. Wow, that's, that's probably how it's actually pronounced instead of her just saying spooky. But that was really good. <laughs> um... This bedroom was designed yeah. to be as creepy ah, right. as possible. Talking to her mind. By she, she had a light. Oh, she dropped it. It rolled away. Where? She doesn't know where it is. Where? She won't go looking for the light herself. She's afraid of the slithering things in the dark. Eh. Hey, who can blame her? Yeah, it's pretty fucked up. Ah, underneath bed. What's underneath the bed? It's nothing. Oh, it's too dark. I can't see anything under there. Turn on the light. Oh, that light's too weak to have an effect on. Bingo. Now get it. No, nope, no, nope, back out. Get the thing under the bed. Get the thing. Maybe if I go around here, can I get the thing under the bed? There we go. Nice. 
Emissary of electricity. The mighty torch. Combine with wardrobe. Does that work? Torch. Wait, hold on. I'm confused. Examine. Uh, wait, okay, hold on. X. Aha! Now I've got a torch. Now we light. Light, yeah, good idea, but not from that. Okay, now I have a torch, so what do I do with it? Or a flashlight, as we say in America. Um, look at. Bananas. That's the best you could come up with, Zoe. Lol. Uh, time? No. Okay, maybe I talk to her. Oh, no. She must be terrified. Poor girl. Talk, talk to her? Whoever wired no. her to a dream machine should be locked away for a very long time. That's what I said. Doesn't make any sense for a child that young to be plugged oh, into this that shit. It's too weak to have an. Oh, I take it back. Totally uncool. It's hiding. Stupid, smart tentacle thingy. It's too quick for me. Okay. Oh, okay. So we slow it down with time. Turn away from it. Okay, hold on. So we do it when the tentacles are out. And then shine the light on it. Oh, I love that monster sound! Nice! We did it! I'm so good. What's up, girl? Without me, she'll be trapped here. She needs my help. Wardrobe. Locked. And locked dream wardrobes don't open without dream keys. There's a logic to it. Eh. Oh, the key just appeared. Alright, that's, that's fine. A key? The key literally just appeared. It was not there before. Because I was obsessed with I that painting. I need a key to open this. Yes, you do. You have a key. So, use on wardrobe. No, don't get too close. It will take you. You didn't hear the See, horrific monster scream? You're safe now. <laughs> monster reappears and rips her down that but fucking wardrobe. I don't know how to get back home. I don't know where my mummy is. How'd you get plugged in the machine? On the other side of the wardrobe oh, okay. waiting for you. Why? It's... It's scary. Yeah. Whatever was in there, it's gone now. I promise. No, what's on the other Come side on. is scary. It's a bad parent. This child obviously you has some use shit. A dream machine. Mum makes me. She says it keeps me occupied. Then she has time to play with hers. Oh Jesus Christ! The next time she does that, you need to say no. She won't like that. Oh man. But you tell her it's dangerous, that it gives you nightmares, and if she refuses to listen, tell someone else, or scream, fight back, run away, just. Never ever use a dream machine. I keep wanting I to say dreamcast. He doesn't live with us, but I talk to him all the time. Ah. You do that. Now go through and you'll wake up again. Yes. Goodbye. Thank you. What's your name? It doesn't matter. Zoe. Oh. And remember, no dream time. I might not be able to find you again. Goodbye. Oh jeez. This has to stop. It does. It really does. This shit is fucking bananas. This is fucking insane. There is a dude. I bet he's gonna be real cool. Let's go talk to the real cool dude. The Vagabond. You're real cool. The Vagabond. Master of the oh. story time. Sort of. Okay. What's going on out there? Oh, you're cool. More and more people are getting caught in loops. I can't keep up. I thought the dream machines weren't dangerous anymore. I thought we took care of that. If not, then... Hello, Zoe. Hello. Wait, yeah. hold on. Please tell me I recognize Harvey. that voice. Look, I'm trying to help them all, and... and It's too hard. There are too many. Right. And they're nightmares. They're getting worse. Yeah, that's true. You have to go home. Home. Home? For, for better or worse, this is my home now. Right. This is who I am. The person I used to be is is gone forever. Whatever's out there, it's no longer my life. All I once had is gone forever. There's no home to go back to, and and I don't want to be the person I used to be. I have a purpose here. I can make a difference. If I do wake up, I'll be lost. How are these different? Home. Better or worse, this is my home. Better or worse, all I once had is gone forever. Home, How are home, these home, different? Home. 
All I want like straight up. What's there to go back to? Yeah. Whatever awaits you on the other side is for you alone to discover. Right. Your single thread runs through the fabric of the universe, weaving events together. Yeah, cool voice, but dude. When it ends, I do not know. Okay. A thread without a spool. Now, are you a real person or are you a construct like you. of the dream machine? What I mean is, I don't have a home. I have nothing out there. Yeah. And no one. I have no one. Besides, yeah. I'm needed here. Yeah. What will happen if I just abandon them? Their night terrors are symptoms of a larger disease. Right. As long as the disease itself is alive and spreading, those people will keep coming back. Shit. But I'm. I'm not ready to wake up face myself again I'm scared of losing what little I have left oh. if, if there's a choice I I choose to stay I'm in control here I don't have to fear anything or anyone then that's the problem of the dream machine but whatever what's the point there are no second chances every choice leads to the same outcome and my actions have no real consequences so why bother okay not that one I'm, I'm afraid I can't the vagabond will not forget the dream is being tainted the world is getting sicker. Yes. They all need you. Yes. Isn't it enough oh, man. that I'm making a difference here in story time? I'm helping those who are lost and trapped. Right. Who else could possibly need my help? The people on the other side that are actually getting trapped in the machines. This is where I belong. Control here. I'm in control here. Out there, I have no power. I failed once already. Okay. I made a huge mess of things. What can I possibly do to change things now? He's asking me to help, but I don't even know what's happening out there. Right. I don't understand why so, I need it. So, who needs help? I did everything what I What can I do, I and why do I need alone. to go? This is where I belong. Isn't it enough that I'm making a difference here? It, who needs me? Yeah. All who live, who have lived, and who will live. So, everyone. You saved your reality once, Zoe. In a previous game. This time... All the worlds, all of story time, all of time is at stake. Okay. When you wake up, this will all be a dream. And that dream will quickly fade. Soon, it will be forgotten entirely. Okay. Unless you fight to remember it. Right. What do I need to remember? You must open your heart and mind to messages from those who know what to do. Who knows what to do? No. I'm not omniscient, Zoe. No, you're not. Much is hidden from me. I can see all the threads as they are woven. Are you a real person? But the greater weave itself is too large for me to see. I'm too close. Okay. And even here, some of the past is obscured. This okay. bothers me. I believe someone may have clouded my memory by design. Huh. An enemy. A shadow with tendrils into story time and elsewhere. He's got a cool necklace. All the more important then for you to remember who you are. He's asking me to make a choice, but it doesn't feel like that choice matters. At the end of the day, I'm just playing by someone else's rules. No matter what I say, the outcome is the same. It's a very meta thing to say about a game filled with moral choices. This is my choice to make, even if I don't know the consequences. I guess you never do. You just do what you feel is right. Will it even matter? Vagabond will not forget. Much longer, you may never be able to leave. Okay. And then everyone's story ends. Which would suck. All the people who love you, all the people you love, and everyone else, past, present, and future, torn out of the story like pages from a book. Acceptance. Uh, so. I don't what care do what it is. To do? I'm, I'm just accepting it. I want it. you to wake up and remember. But she's in a coma. I want you to save- Save the world. I did such a bang-up job with that the last time around. You changed everything. That story had a beginning and an end. It was a video game it that was ended. also only the first half of your story. Okay. How do I wake up? That's a good question. There is a door. Find the door and unlock it, and you will wake up. No. If it's locked- She's in a coma. You will know. You will wake I'm up not in your- to be cryptic. Calm but I don't have my toes body. You do. Within you. I'll don't you remember that key you shoved you. up your ass? 
Time to, uh, time to fish that if out again. all goes well, at the end of your journey, when your story is complete, you will see me again. One last time. Ah. That sounds final. Probably in chapter five then. But yeah, okay. I'll um go. Find the key. Unlock the door. Remember everything. Save the world. Write my story. Return for epilogue. Bury hero's journey. You yes. will do fine, Zoe Castillo. I have faith in you. Who are you? Maybe bigger, bolder words are in order, but they would amount to the same. I love you. Good luck. Ah. Oh shit. Just boom, straight back in my fucking original zone. Which is an awesome way to do it. Okay. Now what? Oh. oh okay, alright. Cool. Well, I'll tell you guys what. I hate to do this to you, but I think we'll save this for next time. Have a good one, guys.